What's up guys, Joey here of Yuga Tech and don't you wish you could make your entire life dark mode just like this? Well, you can't really do that but with your smartphone, whether you're using Android or iOS, there may be hope for you yet. Dark mode or night mode has been getting a lot of buzz lately as more and more apps have been supporting it natively and with the recent messenger update, everybody has been going crazy. Well, you know what they say, once you go black, yeah, you know the rest. Anyway, the thing is there are many different reasons why you should be using dark mode. Mostly because it's generally more comfortable to read white text on a black background as opposed to black text on a white background. It has better contrast, less blue light, it saves more battery in a way, and it can be helpful for people with sensitive eye conditions. But you know, sometimes it's just because we think it looks really cool. And although there are now more dark modes available for different apps and even different phones, there are still some limitations to the feature that it doesn't make everything totally pitch black or dark blue. Either way, if you're an Android or iPhone user, here are some ways you can turn your device dark. In fact, you're probably watching this video on YouTube's dark mode, aren't you? Well, if you are, give us a like. Let's start off with some of the most used apps that have a dark mode feature. Unfortunately, Facebook still does not have it, but you can now unlock dark mode in your Messenger app by sending the crescent moon emoji to anybody. Tip, if you don't want to bother anyone, just send the emoji to yourself. We also have Twitter, Telegram, Snapseed, Discord, Google Play Games, Firefox, Opera, Waze, Reddit, Google Maps, and of course, YouTube. All of these work for both iOS and Android. And then we also have apps that are already in dark mode by default, so I guess it's not dark mode per se, but Anyway, for this, we have Netflix, Google Play Movies and TV, Spotify, and even Pornhub. Uh, who wrote this script? But if you want dark mode for your entire iPhone's UI, you may or may not know this yet, but when you turn on the Smart Invert feature in the settings, you get an almost complete dark mode for your phone. But do note that this is only available with iOS 11 and later. You can make a quick shortcut for it by going to the settings, then tap accessibility, go to accessibility shortcut, and hit smart invert colors. When you do this, you can just triple click your power button or home button to activate smart invert. When smart invert is on, features like true tone and night shift are automatically disabled. Pretty much the whole UI, including apps with or without dark mode, are inverted except for photos and videos. Here's another tip. Turn on Reduce White Point under Accessibility to display accommodations to remove white outlines as well as have a darker control center. However, it's not perfect. It can mess with the graphics in certain apps. For example, on Instagram, photos aren't affected but videos end up inverted as well. For Android, it's a different story. There are brands like Huawei and Samsung who have a built-in dark mode. We were really impressed with Samsung's One UI when we reviewed the Galaxy S10. Their dark mode looks awesome. For Google Pixel phones, you can activate dark mode in display settings. But what's interesting is the automatic mode, which changes between light and dark depending on the overall tone of your wallpaper. Then we have third-party apps and launchers you can download to get night mode, such as Swift Installer, Solid Explorer File Manager, Nova Launcher, or simply use Gboard or SwiftKey for your keyboard so you can change the colors of the keys to something darker. Another thing you can do is turn on the invert color feature if your phone has it. And finally, to seal the deal, be sure to do the simplest thing you can do to achieve dark mode, which is changing your wallpaper to something black, especially if your phone has an AMOLED screen, as this saves even more battery when you're in the home screen. All right, so guys, do you have the patience to go totally black or will you go back and stick to light mode and be basic? Well, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, if you love dark mode, please do give us a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in 
the dark side.